everybody. Hope you guys are feeling good. We're ready for class to start. We're gonna get started with just the warm up, guys. Here's what I want you guys to do. You're gonna be just jogging in place like this. I'm gonna give you one of three commands, okay? The first command is I'm gonna say jump. If I say jump, I want you to squat and then jump like this. If I say sprawl, I want you to squat so your hands go on the ground and then you kick your feet backwards and then you go right back into jogging in place. So that was jump or sprawl. The last one is I'm gonna say punch. If I say punch, I want you to stop where you are in your fighting stance. You're just gonna throw nonstop punches from a fighting stance until I say back to jogging, okay? So you're gonna do sprawl, jump, or punches. Here we go, guys. Jogging in place like this. Good. And jump. So go down and up. Keep going. Sprawl. Hands back, feet back, and keep going. And punch. Keep punching, keep punching, keep punching. Keep your hands high. Back to jogging. Sprawl. Sprawl. Jump. Keep breathing, guys. Sprawl. Punch. Keep going, keep going. And jog, keep going. Sprawl. Jump. Jump into a sprawl. So right as soon as you land, right into that sprawl, keep moving. Punch. And run, keep running. Sprawl. Sprawl. Keep jogging. Almost there, guys, keep it up. Jump. And punch. Come on, come on. Keep working. And stop, jog. Jump. Woo, we're almost there, guys. Sprawl. Punch. Good, all right, guys, relax a little bit. Catch your breath. So, you're gonna sit down, find a spot where you can put your feet in the air like this. We're gonna do 30 reach-ups. Ready, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, all the way up, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Now you're gonna fold one foot across your knee and you're gonna bring your opposite elbow to that knee. We're gonna do 20 times, ready? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side, foot across, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put those hands right underneath your hips, and your legs are going to be straight but not touching the ground. We're going to do 20 straight leg lifts. Ready? Go. One, lower without touching. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 20. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I want you guys to get on your knees here. We're gonna put our forearms on the ground. Keep that core strong. I know we just worked it. We're gonna do one plank here and that's it. Ready? Go, hold it. Body straight. Keep everything right underneath your shoulders. Keep them strong. Breathe. I'm feeling it too, guys. Come on. Almost 
almost there, guys. Keep with me. Keep with me. Mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Come on, keep going. Got about 20 seconds left. Ten more seconds. Count it with me. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. Excellent work. Now it's time to stretch. All right, guys. Arms back and forth like this. Take them both forward. And both backwards. One forward, one backward. And switch. If you can't get this at home, you're gonna to have to spend hours in the mirror practicing. <laughs> Not twist your upper body. All right guys, hands on your hips. And big circles, like this. Encourage you to extend one arm as you do this stretch. Other direction, other arm. It helps, guys. I promise. It really helps when you do this stretch this way. Good. All right, guys. So we're going to start with our legs now. What I want you guys to do is balance on one foot. I want you to grab your other foot and see how I pull it very close to me like this. And I'm pointing my knee at the ground for now. Okay. So I'm just trying to balance and feel that stretch in my quad. Now you're going to let go with one arm. You're gonna reach forward and push your foot up and away. So I'll show you kind of from the side. I'm gonna do this here. So it's a balance drill as well as an increased stretch in my quad. Good, now put it back down to the ground. Now you're gonna pick that foot up and you're gonna pull it in front of you and you're gonna point your knee to the ground like this. So we're still balancing. Guys, put that down. Let's do the same thing with the other foot. Here, pull the knee close. Good. Now, leaning away, kind of using your other arm for a counterbalance. And look how I'm pushing my foot back and up like this. Good. Now, Bring that in front of you, pull it in front, and point the knee down. Nice job, guys. Reach up as tall as possible and fold forward towards your toes. Do your best to keep those legs straight, back straight, everything straight. Double shoulder width here. I want you guys to grab your elbows like this and then hang those elbows down towards the center. Good. Now come up about halfway and reach. So you're going to bring one hand to the opposite leg. So I'm going to take my left hand towards my right leg here, like this. Now I take the other arm and I wrap it around my back like this. So I'm really twisting as much as I can towards that leg. Good. Now come up, do the same thing on the other side. So one arm comes across to the leg, the other arm kind of twists around my hips here. Good, now hands on the ground, bring your hips to one foot and lean forward. Good, now use your hands for balance, go to the other side. Remember guys, when you're stretching, you wanna to go to a point that is uncomfortable, right? You don't want it to hurt, you don't wanna hurt anything, but it should be a bit uncomfortable. If you're comfortable when you're stretching, then you're probably not improving your flexibility. Okay guys, everyone sit. Okay. 
Legs out, bring yourself forward. Good, now bring one foot in. You're gonna fold it to about a 90 degree angle. Not all the way in, but about at that 90 degrees here. Now you're gonna lean your chest over your calf like this. Good, put that foot back out. Let's bring the other one in. Again, not all the way, about 90 degrees here. And then lean your chest out over it. All right guys, that leg that you just folded, extend it. Put the other leg behind you here, and I want you to lean back so you're stretching the top of your leg here. might be able to lay all the way down depending on how flexible you are. If you don't want to lay all the way down, you can also lift your hips like this. You'll feel that stretch on the top. Good. Now bring that leg forward. Do the same thing with the other leg. Put it back and lean back on it. Good. All right, guys. So now I want you guys to pull both of your feet in really tight and then lean forward. All right, guys, good. Now, a couple more stretches. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see how I'm pointing my fingers behind me. And I'm gonna kind of scooch my hips forward so I get a stretch in my shoulders, and then I'll even look up to help stretch my neck at the same time. Good. All right, guys, come on up like this. I want you guys to stand, on, sit on your knees like this. You're gonna sit back with your arms out in front, and then you're gonna tuck your toes and shoot those hips into the ceiling like this, and you're gonna press those heels to the ground, head right between the arms here. <sighs> Bend both of your knees so you're back on your knees here, and then go right back into the stretch. Head between your shoulders. And walk your hands back, bend your knees, and come up to an attention position. All right, everybody, let's get ready for class. All right, guys, attention. And bow. Good, all right guys, we're gonna be doing some really strenuous kicking drills, guys. We're gonna be doing them from a long stance. So, kicks are easy, long stances are easy. When you put them together, it's pretty tough. So here's what I want you guys to do. You're gonna step back into a long stance, like this, okay? Now you're gonna put your hands up like you're in a fighting stance. But you're, for all intents and purposes, this is just a long stance with your hands up, okay? So when I say go, watch what you're gonna do. You're gonna go knee up, Front kick, recoil, and then try to put your foot right in that same spot that it started in. Okay, guys, ready? Go. Kick, land. Excellent. Is your front knee deeply bent? Are you in a long stance that you're really proud of? Ready? Go. Kick, and then land. Awesome. Ready? Go. Kick. Good. Get that kick way over your head, guys. And go. Kick. Excellent. You guys are doing great. Go. Kick, and then back. Go, kick, and then reset. You're trying to look as balanced as you can the whole time, really challenging those legs. Back leg is straight, foot is flat. Go, kick, and then back. One more. Go, kick, and then back. All right, guys, so now we're gonna switch our feet here. So, ready? Deep, long stance, hands are up. Go, kick, and back. Awesome, I'm feeling it already, guys. I hope you are too. Go, kick, and then back. Go, kick, and then back. Go, kick, and then reset. Go, kick, awesome job. Couple more. Go, kick, and then back. Last one, best one, right here. Go, kick, and then set it down. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys relax your legs a little bit. We're gonna go back into the other side, but this time we're gonna do round kicks, which means we had to do a new thing, which is pivot, okay? We don't have to pivot on front kicks, we do on rounds. 
So everyone, into your stance. Break is over. I'm gonna twist and then recoil all the way back. So you'll see why this is more challenging in just a moment. Ready, go. Kick and then back. So this one has to pivot and then unpivot to bring me back to my long stance. Ready, go. Kick and then back. Of course, you guys are very talented, so I bet you're having an easy time with this. Ready, go. Kick and then back. Beautiful work, guys. Right in that long stance, don't get shallow. Ready, go. Kick, woo -hoo -hoo. and then back. And go. Kick and then back in the long stance. Let you set for a second. Go. Kick and back. Woo -wee. And kick and then back. Strong legs, guys. One more, go. Kick and back. All right, we're switching the feet. Work in the other side. Ready, guys? Down in the long stance. You got a twist. Ready, go. Kick and then back. Go. Kick and then back. Go. Kick, recoil, and then put it back down. Try to hold that knee up when you recoil. Ready, go. Kick and back down. Go, kick, and back. Last two, go, kick, and then back. One more, go, kick, and back. Whew. All right, guys, shake them out. We got one more kick to do this way, and that's gonna be our side kick. This is the big challenge. So, not only do you have to pivot, like we did on the round kick, but your knee can't just come here, it's gotta come all the way over here to the side, okay? Almost like you're throwing a front kick out in that direction. All right, guys, ready? So I'm gonna show you one. It just goes knee up, side kick, recoil, unpivot back to your position. All right, let's do it, enough talk. And go, and then back. Nice job, foot is sideways hitting with the heel. Go, knee up, awesome work, guys. Back in that long stance, not putting your foot in front at all. Go, Great work. Knees all the way up. Go. Oh yeah. This should feel very different than a round kick. If your kick kind of feels like a round kick, you want to adjust that. Get your knee out. Ready? Go. Oh yeah. Woohoo. Again. Go. Bang. Nice job. Ready? Go. Knee up. Bang. All right, guys. Let's switch the feet. Oh, the dreaded left foot side kick. We can do it. Knees going out. Ready, go, knee up, bang. And then back, is your foot sideways, look at it. Ready, go, boom, and then back. Go, side, and re recoil. Go, bang, and then back. Three more, go, one, and then back. Last two, go, boom. One more, go, one. Deep long stance, photo, attention, and bow. Whew, that's some extreme kick training, guys. Great work. All right, guys, so we're gonna be working on a sparring technique. This is very useful for your sparring. It can really help you with close range sparring. And we call it a cover punch, okay, guys? So basically what we're gonna be doing is a block and a punch. That's not too advanced, right? You're just doing a block and then a punch, but you're gonna do them at the same time. Now, normally when we do a block and a punch, we go one, two, but in the cover punch, you're just going one. You're doing both at the same time, okay? So I want you guys to imagine someone's kicking you on this side. You're gonna take your left arm, you're gonna do a block, and you're gonna take your right hand, and you're gonna do a punch with both of your arms out, okay? So everybody kind of twist to your side, and then block punch, like this. Do it again, ready, boom. Both happen at the same time. You should kind of be mirroring me here. Your left arm should be down, and your right arm should be punching. Ready, go, bang. Just like that. Go, boom, awesome. Go, <sighs> great job. Again, go, <sighs> and kind of freeze, check your position, right? We don't wanna have it switched. We wanna make sure the low block is doing its job of covering me and the punch is here. So if someone's kicking you guys and you do that cover punch, you can easily knock them off balance because that punch will hit them when they're on one foot. So you're gonna have to cut off the distance now. As you do your block punch, you're gonna step forward, okay? So you're gonna do a little step forward with it. Ready, go, boom, cover punch. Good, let's do it again. Ready, go, boom, cover punch. Awesome. And again, go, boom, cover punch. You guys are doing great. 
Ready, go. Here, all right, let's try it on the other side. Maybe they kick with the other foot. So now, it's our right arm doing the block and the left arm doing the punch. Ready, go, boom, exactly, mirror me, guys. Ready, go. One arm is low, doing the low block. Ready, go. Both at the same time. Look how I'm stepping into it to give me a little bit more body weight. Go, to get inside the kick, right? Because if they're kicking me, my arm won't be as long as their leg, right? Unless I have really long arms. So you gotta step in to cut off that distance. Ready, go. Again, go. Again, go. One more time. Ready, go. Bang, just like that. Okay, so now once you've done this cover punch, you've knocked them off balance, this is a prime opportunity for you to score a point, okay? So you're just gonna throw a kick afterwards. So let's go back to our first side. Left arm's blocking, right hand is punching, then you're gonna throw a right kick. So you go cover punch, boom, you knock them off balance. Do this with me. Now, you just throw a kick, here, that's it. Get them off balance and hit them. Ready, go, block, kick, just like that. So it's the block and the punch simultaneously, then the kick right after. Go, cover, kick, good. Ready, go, cover, kick. Really stiff arm that punch, straight, strong arm, so you knock them off balance. Go, cover, kick, good. Move forward, go, cover, kick. Awesome work, guys. Let's do two more of that. Go, cover, kick. And one more. Ready, go, cover, kick. All right, guys. Now just keep in mind, when they fall, their belly might be on either side, so you could kick with either leg there, but we're just gonna keep using our rear leg for now. All right, guys, let's go to the other side. So we're gonna go cover here, blocking with our right arm, and then kicking with our left leg. All right, guys, ready? Here we go. Go, cover, kick. Nice. Ready? Go, block, punch, kick. Block, punch at the same time. Blunch, ready? Go, boom, kick. Nice. Ready? Go, boom, kick. Awesome. Go, block, punch, kick. Go, block, punch, kick. Last two, guys, come on. Ready? Go, block, punch, kick. One more. And go, block, punch, kick. Nice work, guys. Attention and bow. So that cover punch is something that you guys can try to incorporate in your sparring. Um, and it can really throw people off guard when they're getting aggressive with their kicks. Good work. All right, everybody. So we are gonna be working on push-ups. Now we do push-ups a lot in class, whether it's playing dodgeball or anything like that, sometimes in warm-up. Um, and a lot of you guys, I know, like to try to get your orange star. So if you're not familiar with the orange star, guys, if you can do six perfect, perfect push-ups, then you get to uh, get your orange star. Now, that might not sound like a very high number, but I'm very, very picky. And if you guys have ever had to test for me with me doing these uh, push-ups, you know I'm very picky about who I give these stars to. So I wanted to spend a little time to teach you guys how to get the orange star from me. All right, guys, so here's what I wanna see. When you're doing a push-up, it's all about two things. This is it, two things. How straight is your body and how low did your body get, okay? So what I mean by straight, I mean, when you're holding your push-up position, your hips have to be in a straight line with your shoulders and feet. You don't want your high knee up like this, and you don't want your hips sinking like this, okay? So a lot of times when we do a push-up, we start to bend our elbows, and then our hips go down. But that's not what I want, right? I want your body to stay straight, and I want your chest to get low, okay? So it'll look like this. It'll be a little diagonal angle here. Here, my body's straight. Look how low I get, and then I push myself up straight as well, okay? And if you can do six of those, you'll be set to go. And I know sometimes when we're younger, we're not quite strong enough to be ready for that. So I'm gonna show you guys some ways to build up for it. And we're gonna do what's called knee push-ups. Okay guys, so knee push-ups are a great, great way to train push-ups. I love these. So here's what I want you guys to do. You're gonna sit on all fours like this. Okay, and then you're gonna walk your hands forward until your hips are in a straight line with your knees. Okay, so if you were to draw a line from my shoulders to my hips to my knees, it should be just about straight. So not like this, here. Not like this here, but a straight line, okay? Now, once you're there, you're gonna lower yourself. I want you guys as slowly as you can, do this with me, do this with me. Lower, 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 and then lay on the ground with your chest on the ground. You're laying down now, that's all we're doing. My feet are up and my knees are on the ground. Now, when I say go, you're gonna explosively push up. Ready, go. Did your body stay straight when you did that? Do it again. 
down, 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 slow and light. Whoo, relax. All right, get the tension back and up. Was your body straight on the way up? If you came up like this, like a worm, right? That's not a straight push up. That's not gonna get us that orange star. So watch, slowly down, 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 lay and up. Okay, you're gonna try to do five of those on your own. Ready? I'll count them with you. Ready? Go. One, two, all the way so that your chest touches the ground. Three, four, five. Great work, guys. Great work, great work. Now, being able to do them from your knees is excellent, kind of like training wheels to build yourself up to the real push-up. But in order to get the real star, you have to do it on your feet, okay? So this is much more challenging. So now we're gonna try our best to do five push-ups just like that. Okay, guys, so let's actually do one first slowly. On your feet, body straight. Lower, 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 and lay. Just lay. Look, your toes are tough. Now you're gonna try to get your hips up a little bit and push like that, okay? That's your push-up. Now we're gonna do five of those and we're gonna get as low to the ground as we can without touching. All right, guys, you're gonna do it with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome work, guys. So push-ups are a great way to strengthen our upper body. They're a great um, exercise just for being strong in general. They're even good for your core. And I'm proud of you guys if you're working on those. Keep working on those at home, guys. A couple push-ups a day. Excellent work. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about our word of the month. And as you remember from last class, our word of the month is generosity. So last class, we talked about what it means to be generous. In case you forgot, being generous means you're able to give things without expecting something in return. And we talked a little bit about giving our goods, our treasures, items, clothes, things like that. Um, and we're going to continue talking about charity. Okay, guys. So, you know, in your day-to-day -day life, there are a lot of things that you have access to that it's hard to even imagine that some people don't have access to these things. Okay, guys. So these could be basic things like clothing, shoes. Um, you know, when you get into your bed, you have that comfortable pillow, blankets, things like that. And there are people in the world, guys, who don't have access to these things, right? Their circumstances don't allow them to have access to these sort of things. And this is where the charity comes in, right? So, you know, if you're ever replacing something, if you're ever replacing any of these items, these objects that you have, um, it's a really great opportunity to be generous with our things um, and give them to somebody else. Okay, guys. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about well, what if, Mr. Alex, what if I don't have something to give, right? You know, especially, you know, when we're younger, we don't have a ton of stuff, right, guys? And we need the things that we need. Those are important for us. So if you don't have something to give, what's another thing that we can give that isn't a thing? Well, we can give our time. Okay, guys, we can give our time. And volunteering our time is a great way to give back to either people or a community or something like that. Okay? So what's an example of how we can give time? Um, well, if you've ever done like, some, one of the things that's really popular in Florida is what they call beach cleanups. Maybe you guys have heard of those, where certain groups of people will get together and they'll just spend um, a certain amount of time in the day just cleaning the beach, right? They see some trash, pick it up, put it away, that kind of stuff. That's an example of, of donating your time and being generous with your time, right guys? Because your time is valuable, right? You have a lot of things to do in your day. You have Taekwondo training, you have school, you have chores and homework and all this kind of stuff, right? So in order for you to dedicate some of your time to, to doing something like a beach cleanup, that's really valuable, guys, and that says a lot. Um, and it's really appreciated by the people who are putting these kind of things together, right? Another kind of thing is, you know, sometimes people will, will go to visit nursing homes and or visit children's hospitals and things like that um, just to kind of give people company when they need it. It can be anything like that. And guys, donating your time, being generous with your time doesn't even necessarily mean you have to do it through some charity like I'm talking right now. It could even just be when your friends are not feeling great. Maybe your friends are just kind of having a bad day and you just sit there, you put aside what you were gonna do, and you just kinda sit there and talk to them a little bit, right? That's you being generous with your time to be helpful to somebody else. Maybe um, someone in your class, maybe it isn't even someone that close to you, maybe it's just someone in class and you can see that they're really struggling with their homework or their, or their schoolwork or a certain part of a class, and you're really good at it, right? You're really good at it, you got it down. You just sit there, you say, hey, do you want me to help you? Right, and you offer that time, you offer that service, you offer that talent, and you're, and you're being generous with that, okay guys? So any way we can really help people is an opportunity to be generous, okay guys? And it doesn't have to be stuff, 
right? We don't have to just give stuff, we can give our time. All right, guys, so everybody say generosity. Louder, say it again. Good work, guys. Let's all stand up. All right, guys, I wanna work on some of our back kicks, getting you guys prepared for our board breaks. So with purple belt, blue belt, and blue brown belt in this class, all of those belts require some sort of back kick to do a break. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I want you guys to put your right foot back. We're just gonna do our regular turn and back kick, straighten with the heel, and then I want you to go back the way you came from, so don't turn all the way around. All right, guys, on my go. Ready, go. Oh yeah, drive that heel in, and then step yourself back. Okay, we're gonna take some time between each set so you don't get uh, too dizzy. Ready, go. Oh yeah, and then reset. Ready, go. Oh yeah, look how my back is to the target, and then I just go right back where I came from. Ready, go. Oh yeah, lock that heel out, guys. So what are the keys to board breaks? We have to have the right foot position, which I'm assuming you guys are doing, using your heel. We also have to hit a very specific point, okay? So I want you to spot that specific point, that imaginary board, bang, and then you drive your heel through. Okay, guys, ready with me. Go, oh yeah, nicely done. Let's try a couple more. Ready, go, oh yeah, excellent work. Last two, ready, go, oh yeah. We put it on that imaginary spot. One more time, go, oh yeah. All right, guys, so of course when you break a board, you get to pick whatever foot you want, but let's work our other foot, so we're good at that one too. So we're turning our back, looking, boom, and driving that heel straight in. All right, everybody, ready? Go, oh yeah. Nice, and reset yourself back, keeping that knee low to the ground. Ready, go, oh yeah. And then reset. I don't want to see any more than you peeking over your shoulder. Don't show me your stomach when you do this kick. Go, oh yeah. Good, again. Ready, go. Oh yeah. Nice. And again. Go. Oh yeah. Nice. One more, guys, on this side. Ready, go. Oh yeah. All right. So that was our purple belt board break. Moving up to our blue belt board break, we're going to be doing our 360 back kick. So this is easy. All you're doing is you're going to put your kicking leg in front. You're going to step forward in a straight line, turn, and do a back kick. That's it. And you're going to reset yourself back. Okay, I think you guys got it. Ready, go, step, oh yeah. Drive with that heel, and then reset. Ready, go, step, oh yeah. Drive in, good job guys, come on. Go, step, oh yeah. It's got to be the heel guys, or else that board won't break. Go, step, oh yeah. Nice. Go, step, oh yeah. Awesome. Ready, go, step, oh yeah. One more time. Go, step, oh yeah. Good, so let's talk about this step before we switch feet, guys. When you do this step, you gotta make sure you're stepping in a straight line. So don't step in a circle, because then my kick will be what? A circle, and that's not what I want. I want my kick to be straight, so my step needs to be straight. Let's do the other side, guys. Left foot's in front, right foot's gonna step. Ready? Go, step, oh yeah, thrust that heel out, and then reset yourself back. Ready, go, step, oh yeah, you guys doing great. Go, step, oh yeah, right at the belly, come on, a couple more. Go, step, oh yeah, reset, go, step, oh yeah, awesome, and back. Go, step, oh yeah, one more. Ready, go, step, oh yeah. Awesome work, guys, okay. So now, we're gonna be doing the jumping back kick, okay? So this is our blue-brown belt board break. This one's tricky, um, but you're gonna do this in place. So, I'm gonna show you guys kind of from the side. You can do it this way, you can do it facing your screen, however you want. But, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna bend my knees. My right foot's back, that's the one that's kicking. All I want you guys to do is jump like this. Do that again. Jump. Notice how both of my feet leave the ground at the same time. Now, once I'm jumping, I'm going to switch my feet backwards, right? So I'm gonna go like this. Here, okay? So see how my feet switch positions. Ready, go. Okay, one more time with me. Ready, go. And as you switch, look, I'm gonna do it towards you. What do I do with my head? I turn my head to follow my right foot this way. Again, here. Switch, good. So now we're gonna do that switch, except instead of this right foot going to the floor, it's going to my back kick. 
So my left foot moves away and my right foot does the kick and I should just stay right in place. All right, guys, here we go. Bend the knees and go, jump back kick. Nicely done, guys. Again, we're not trying to go crazy high. We're just trying to get up off the floor. Go, jump, turn with your back kick. Don't let me see that stomach. Ready? Go, jump, bang, nice. Let's do it again. Ready, go, boom. This kick is also really good for sparring when you guys get more comfortable with it. Ready, go, bah. Awesome, you guys are doing great. I'm gonna show you from the side, keep going. Ready, go, boom. Again, and go, bah. Really well done, guys. Let's try it with our left. Okay, guys, a little bit more challenging. So remember, let's try a couple of those jump turns. Jump, and turn backwards. Peek over your shoulder. Ready? Go. Jump. Peek over the shoulder. We're ready for it. Ready? Go. Keep the knees together. Extend it straight forward. Go. Nice. Ready? Go. Again, got to see it. Accuracy is probably the number one issue with board breaking with back kicks. People just miss the board and it's because they can't see it. So you gotta get that head moving. Ready, go. See how I'm peeking at you? Ready, go. One more. Ready, go. Nicely done, guys. Those are your back kicks. Regular back kick, 360 back kick, and jumping back kick. Maybe we'll work jump 360 back kick another time. All right, guys, attention. And bow. All right, everybody, let's get into our forms. Attention. And bow. Jumbi. We're going to go through all of them today, guys. We're going to do white and yellow year count to start. Ready? White belt form. Keep going young. Make sure you guys are freezing. You're going year count, but you're taking your time, making every move stick. You're snapping those punches. Keep stances every time. Our left foot moves. Bono. Jump. Good job. All right, guys. Moving on to yellow belt form. Tai Gook Il Jump. Really snappy punches. Here we go. Jumbi. Try to stay with me, guys. Follow my motions. High kicks. into your forms in this class are green and blue belt form, but we're going to do the mic count. Attention! Jumbi. Taiguk Samjang is the name of our green belt form. Okay? First, just like yellow belt form, we go to the left, X, walking stance, low block. We're going to do a right kick, a right punch, and then a left punch. So I go right front kick, long stance, right, left with my punches. Other side, X, low block. Now we're going to do that in reverse. Left kick, left, right punch. So we go left kick, Left, right. Good. Now from here, we're going to make a neck chop. I open that hand. I bring it to my ear. Strong knife hand position. I step. Boom. Neck chop. Neck level. Duh. Right? Now I want to make sure I hit with that edge of the hand right here. Step again. Neck chop. Now, keeping that hand open, I look to my left. I make an X. I go knife hand block in a back stance. Now I slide into a long stance. Punch. Now, I'm going to move my other foot over. X. Knife hand block. Now I slide, punch, and you're in your best long stance. Now your right hand comes up to do an in block. My left foot moves, boom. Just like with the neck chops before, but with a closed fist here and my fist up. Step again, in block. Now we do a little baby turkey move here. The left foot moves around, low block. We're gonna do the front kick double punch, just like in the beginning of the form. Kick, punch, punch. Are you challenging your long stance? Nice and low, X, low block. Now. Front kick, 
punch, punch. Now all of the walking stance to the back of the room, we're gonna go, low, punch. Do that again, low, punch. Now at a kick, kick, low, punch. Then with a key up, go, kick, low, uh, key up on the punch. Left foot moves, return to ready stance, auto, attention, and bow. All right guys, that's our green belt form. Taigu Samjong, now to get into the real challenging one, which is our blue belt form. All right guys, everybody, let's try this. Attention, and bow. Jumbi. So this one's all about the long stances, guys. We've got to take it down. Don't let those legs get tired. Look, X, low block. We're gonna pull that foot back. Hammer fist to the side. Look how I wrap that arm up. Boom, really big motion. Other side, X, deep long stance, low block. Pull that back, hammer fist to the side with that pinky down. Now we're gonna step forward and we're gonna do two in blocks. So I'm gonna go in, chamber, in. Now I'm gonna go front kick like this. I'm gonna chamber for, an, uh, for a back fist, back fist, in block. We're gonna do that again. Kick, back fist, in block. Then I step forward and I do another back fist. Uh, there's a key up right there. Back fist right in front of your nose. Now, left foot goes around, single knife hand block, right? I'm gonna grab my fist and I'm gonna step forward in a long stance elbow strike. Other side, X, knife hand block. I grab the fist, I step forward, elbow strike. Now, to the back of the room, I'm gonna go. Low block, in block, chambering each one. Front kick, low block, in block. From here, I turn to the side, T, high block this way. Now I'm gonna make a big side kick motion, guys. Really lean over. Guys, kinda like we practiced in this class, right? From the long stance, here it comes. Knee up, side kick, grab, elbow strike. Good, now we go the other way. T, high block, we practice this side too. Knee up, boom and then grab right in that elbow. Now to the back. Long stance, low, in. Watch guys, you wanna do a front kick and hold it. I wanna kick, hold my knee up. Now I'm gonna lunge forward into that jumping back fist before returning to ready stance. Attention and bow. Great work guys. That's Taiguk Ojung, your blue belt form. Great work everyone. All right guys, class is over. That means it's time for our weekly challenge. All right guys, so what is the weekly challenge today? Well, we're gonna be challenging your balance. And like most of these challenges, we're gonna have various increasing stages of difficulty, okay? So the first one should be pretty easy. We've done it a couple of times in stretching. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to balance on one foot. I want you to pull the foot up and I want you to hold your chest up nice and high, your head up nice and high, and you're just gonna balance here. Look at how high I have my foot up. All the way up by my belt, beautiful. Good. And if you can do this without kind of like hopping around or anything like that, you can just kind of hold yourself in this position, then you've got it down. I'd like to see you do it on the other side. So pull that one up. Good. I suspect you guys would be pretty, pretty capable of doing this. Okay. A couple little hops here and there isn't so bad, but if you're hopping uncontrollably, you want to just keep practicing this. Put your eyes on something stationary, something still, so you can balance. Great work, guys. So let's go on to the second stage. Here's what you're going to do. This one's a bit tougher. So you're gonna pull that up. Now I want you to take your hand and I want you to grab the inside of your foot. You can either grab the arch of your foot or you can grab the, the big toe, whatever feels more comfortable. Now you're gonna hold that knee up high. You're gonna put one hand out for balance and you're gonna extend your leg like this. So you're trying to get your leg as straight as you can and you're just balancing on this one foot. And look how high my foot is, it's about head level. That's what we're looking for. Now we're really challenging our balance. Excellent work guys. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring it back in and put it down. Whew, good job, guys. Okay, so now I'm trying on the other side. Get that foot up here. Good. Now grab the inside of the foot, one arm out, and then just extend the leg, hold it out. Great work, guys. So balance is a really important thing for all martial artists to have, right? Whether we're kicking, whether we're punching, whether we're getting pushed or thrown, we want to have that balance. Nicely done, guys. All right, pull that in and then put it down. Okay, so now the third stage of the challenge is a little bit different. Um, this is gonna be different for everybody. What I'm gonna have you guys do is apply that balance to your kicks. So I want everyone to get in this position here where you're pivoting on your base foot, your knee is up in a position where you're ready to do a round kick like this. You're gonna do a round kick, which is a full extension and then a full recoil so your heel comes back to your body. You're gonna do that as many times as you can. Okay, if your knee dips like that, or your foot drops, 
it's over, right? You gotta restart, okay? So look, let me give you an example. I'm just gonna keep doing it. You can do it with me if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Maybe I lose my balance there, right? Or maybe you can just go much, much farther, okay? However many you can do, all right, guys? So when you've done this, Take as many tries as you want. Like let's say you only get to four. One, two, three, and then your knee starts to dip and you gotta reset. When you guys finish, I wanna hear how many you did. Okay, so at the end of class, when you leave your comments and you check in for class, you, you get credit for class, leave a little number that tells you how many, tells me how many kicks you did. Okay guys, because I'm curious to see how far you got. All right guys, great job. All right everybody, great class, excellent workout. I'm really proud of you guys for being here and we're gonna um, get ready to foot. Mr. Campbell, do you, uh you mind we're actually filming right now? Are we on TV? No, are we on, is no, this TV? No, this is, Mr. Kelly's gonna be on YouTube later. YouTube, I've, I've heard of YouTube. No. Yeah, it's, it's really popular, right, right now, YouTube? Yeah, yeah, we're filming the online classes for, um, you know, for since the virus, we're just trying to get people to train at home. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah, yes. it, was, it was your idea, sir. No, really? Man, with all this cleaning, this, this disinfecting painting, I, it must have slipped my mind. It's, I, yeah. I think you're breathing in too much of the fumes. <laughs> it, it could be the fumes. But, uh, hey, listen, let me know if I have any other great ideas. I'll, you... I'll, I'll do that, sir. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, go ahead. Carry on. Let's uh, go ahead. All right, guys. So, like I said, um... Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>